Celebrities make mistakes sometimes, guys, and it's cool. So do most of us. But the problem with being a celebrity and making a mistake on social media is number one, everyone's gonna call you out for it, and number two, your mistake is on the internet forever. Whether or not these posts were actually offensive, well, that's up to you. I am counting down the top 10 celebrity social media posts that backfired here for you on IO. What is gravy, my little spudlings? <laughs> Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte. Oh my God, I have never laughed so hard writing a top 10 as I have when I was writing this video right here. <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys to see it because I know you're gonna love it. Because you love tea just as much as I do, if not more. By the way, if the YouTube algorithm magically brought you to our channel for the first time, let me just say that like it wasn't a coincidence. You were meant to find us and our ridiculous channel. So we do the news, we make jokes about the news, we have fun, you have fun, it's a win-win scenario for all of us. So subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload and follow us on social media. I too make mistakes on social media. That's why I don't post very often anymore. <laughs> Let's slide on into number 10, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen had five million followers on Twitter back in 2011. And unfortunately, also in 2011, he accidentally tweeted his phone number, his personal phone number instead of sending a direct message to Justin Bieber. He tweeted the digits and said, call me bro, C. Does anyone else think it's funny that Charlie Sheen and Justin Bieber hang out? <laughs> I never really pictured them being bros. Nope. Doesn't really make sense. Anyways, after he tweeted his phone number, Charlie Sheen got a huge number of calls and texts from fans. Thankfully, he saw the funny side. He answered the phone a couple of times and said, raise pizza. <laughs> but of course, he had to disconnect the number and delete the tweet. At number nine, we have Ariana Grande. Who could forget that time that Ariana posted about her new tattoo and it was supposed to spell out seven rings to commemorate her album and song. But in reality, it spelled out Shichirin, which is a small Japanese barbecue grill. <laughs> and people definitely didn't let her hear the end of it. Ariana explained on Twitter that the tattoo she got was extremely painful and it was missing a few characters. She couldn't stand the pain because of where it was done so she left out a couple things. Anyway, she deleted the photo and then she got lidocaine shots so she could have it corrected. She got advice from a Japanese tutor to make sure she got it right this time, but she didn't. She didn't get it right. <laughs> Some people said on Twitter that her new fixed tattoo now said Japanese barbecue finger. <laughs> it's just a shot in the dark when you're getting a tattoo in a different language. Unless it's like straight carpe diem, I just wouldn't bother. In at number eight we have Lindsay Lindsay Lohan, yet another celebrity that needs to hire a translator. In 2015, Lindsay Lohan posted what she thought was an inspirational quote to her Instagram, where she had 3.5 million followers at the time. But the quote was written in Arabic. So this was around the time when Lindsay Lohan announced that she was converting to Islam. It definitely took the world by surprise. And so did this social media post because it did not translate to you are beautiful, it translated to you are a donkey. <laughs> I am not a donkey, Lindsay. Lindsay ended up deleting the post, but not before everybody made fun of her in her comment section. At number seven, we have Mia Farrow. Actress Mia Farrow found herself in some hot water back in 2015 after she decided to wish her daughter, Kier Farrow, a happy birthday. What is so wrong with tweeting a photo of your daughter on her birthday? Well, nothing really, except she tweeted a photo of her daughter and forgot to crop out the search bar which said, Mia Farrow and her black children. <laughs> Mia deleted the tweet and posted a new photo, but the damage was done. She explained that it was her associate who was responsible for the search terms. Just blame it on the assistant. It's okay. <laughs> At number six, we have Patrick J. Adams. This suit star was on his way back from the royal wedding. His co-star was Meghan Markle. Sitting in the airport waiting for his airplane, a woman was reading a newspaper. She sees a picture of Troy and Belsario and Patrick from the wedding, looks up at Patrick and Troyan and says, my God, what a terrible photo of you. Patrick looks over and says, really? I kind of like that photo. What do you think is wrong with it? The woman responds, well, you're just so chunky. <laughs> The woman laughs and falls asleep. I'm sorry, but this woman is a straight up real life troll. How, like, who does that? That was mean, that, that's really mean. <laughs> he doesn't look fat in that photo, he looks great. They look lovely. So Patrick decides to post this photo of this woman and he tells the story about what happened on his Instagram. Clearly the woman is overweight, so it was kind of like sinking to her level a bit, like, how are you fat shaming me when you look like that sort of thing? The post didn't get the attention Patrick was hoping for. He was branded a bully by thousands of people and the media. It forced him to apologize in another post, but also point out that body shaming and making rude comments is never okay. Just cause someone is famous, that doesn't mean criticism doesn't affect them. If you tell them that they look chunky in a photo, they'll probably feel bad about it. At number five, we have Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka was promoting Baywatch in Berlin a couple years back and she decided to check out the Holocaust Memorial. And she posted a selfie in front of the gravestones that are meant to symbolize the gray ash of the six million Jews burned in death camps and put in mass graves. The Holocaust Memorial is not a place where you're supposed to take selfies. It's kind of like an unspoken rule. You walk around quietly, reflect, and pay your respects. 
Influencers have been called out for this type of thing before. It's seen by many as disrespectful to take selfies at the Holocaust Memorial. Priyanka deleted the post shortly after because she likely realized it was not the appropriate place to snap a selfie. And you know, um, trolls probably made her feel pretty bad about it. At number four, we have Misha Barton. There's nothing like posting a thirst trap on a yacht to chime in on racism and get people talking. After the tragic death of Alton Sterling in 2016, Misha Barton posted this image on Instagram, looking solemn, wearing a bikini, and she's on a yacht. Pretty much the epitome of a privileged life. The caption said, I'm truly heartbroken to watch videos like the Alton Sterling execution. This may have been going on forever in the United States, but thank God the pigs get caught on camera now. It's unthinkable and an embarrassment to America, the country I was brought up in. Somebody make change. We need gun control and unity and a real president. So think about that when the election is around the corner. The world is a precarious place right now. Stop, reflect, and act appropriately. I can tell by her words that she meant well. People did not feel Misha was acting appropriately when she posted this. Here were a few reactions. Let us all take a moment to thank Misha Barton for taking a moment out of her yachting and day drinking schedule to deliver that word. Her post was deleted. At number three, we have Lord. Now, I truly, truly think that this one was just a straight up accident, but it was very embarrassing for Lord. In 2018, Lord tweeted this photo of a bathtub with the caption, and I will always love you, quoting Whitney Houston's iconic song. Problem is, Whitney Houston died in a bathtub in 2012. Anyways, Lord got a lot of criticism for this post and then she deleted it. She apologized and said, I'm so sorry for offending anyone. I hadn't even put this together and I was just excited to take a bath. I'm an idiot. Love Whitney forever and ever. Sorry again. At number two, we have Zac Efron. In 2016, Zac Efron got a ton of backlash after he tweeted this. I am grateful for a couple of things today. Martin Luther King Jr. and 10 million followers on Instagram. Hashtag Martin Luther King Day. He also weirdly enough, used dark brown hand emojis. So essentially Zac Efron was using Martin Luther King Day, a historic day that commemorates civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr., who was assassinated, to brag about 10 million followers. And he used dark hand emojis. <laughs> Needless to say, people were pissed. He got a ton of criticism for being disrespectful and for making Martin Luther King Day about himself. Zac was forced to apologize with this tweet. I have nothing but the greatest admiration and respect for MLK. My last post was insensitive and I apologize to anyone who I offended. So sorry. And at number one, we have Kirstie Alley. It was a pretty sad day when Stephen Hawking passed away. He affected so many lives and his contributions to science are unparalleled. Celebrities, politicians, and everyday people alike were typing out tributes on social media, including Christy Alley, who tweeted just a few hours after Hawking's death was announced, you had a good go at it. Thanks for your input. Good job, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> People called Kirstie Alley heartless and disrespectful over this tweet. Okay, so this guy was so influential, he defied literally all odds of survival, endured a horrible, debilitating disease, and all he got from Kirstie Alley was, you had a good go at it, thanks for your input. That's what casting directors say to me when my auditions suck. Unlike some of the other celebrities on this list, Kirstie didn't apologize. She fired back with these tweets. Where do these strange swarms of people come from on Twitter? Like locusts, only crispier. All right, tell me which was the worst, the worst mistake on this list. Do you want a part two? There, I could definitely do a part two, like for sure. Let's finish things up with some common features. Raza Baza said she dressed like a Sith Lord. That's because I am a Sith Lord. <laughs> When I'm not potato queen, I am Sith Lord. Iva said, who doesn't walk up the stairs on all fours? Oh, I don't. Do you? Do you, Chris? No, but I have. You have? I, I think we all have at some point. But not like, not, all the time. not regularly. Not regularly. Uh. Bree said, TBH, I walked up the stairs on all fours too. I have my whole life, it just seems easier. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you next time.